it. No gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Korea Farms here with a another video. Today I'm going to do a little uh, update. I'm going to give you guys an update uh, on a couple of mods that I'm doing as well as um, just a general update. So we'll start off with the mods. Here is my 1982 Chevy C30. Uh, if you were in the stream yesterday, you saw a glimpse of this. Uh, I have finished it since then. But I will just give you a general tour of it. So we'll start off. Um, this is a SketchUp model that I did a bunch of work to in Blender. And gave it new AO textures and all that good stuff. So here we have the uh, wheels for it. Or wheel. Uh, there's just the one. But uh, they will... I need to turn my speed down a little bit. There we go. So yeah, here's the rim and tire for it. Uh, all of this stuff has nice AO textures on it. It is all set up for dirt and will have dirt uh, on it. And here we have the truck. Uh, there are a few faces I need to go back and do some more flipping to uh, to get them looking good. Uh, you know, especially on this interior here, uh, I need to do some more, do some more work on it, but it's getting close to done. Yeah, you can kind of see through it here and a few other spots, but it's uh, not looking too bad for a SketchUp model, if I say so myself. So in here we got the engine all chromed up. Uh, I actually followed Serious Mods' chrome tutorial which you can find on his Facebook page, uh, Serious Mods, or on American Eagles Modding. Uh, both of those places you will be able to find it. So I've got about nine different texture versions of this truck, um, and I'll show them all to you here in just a moment. So you can see we got some nice uh, tan leather seating in here, and some other stuff. Uh, need to do, like I said, need to do some more work on the interior. Uh, my windows are finally see-through. But if we look, see, we have it in red right now. This is a true red color. Uh, now if we go into extras, here we have a blue color. It's kind of like a dark navy blue, maybe you'll call it. So we got this one here. And if you'd like to see it... Um, in Blender with full rendered, uh, you can see it on my Instagram and Facebook page. Then here we have a uh, nice deep sea blue. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite color options for this truck. Uh, I've had many people say, well, why don't you just make it dyeable? Uh, the reason for that is because with Farm Sim, you can't choose what types of colors it has when it's dyeable. You just have, you know, it, the game has certain colors, and that's it. With this, I have, you know, like that navy blue kind of color, the deep sea blue. I have a bunch of different color variations that I can do. I mean, yes, I'll have more versions of it in my mods folder, but it'll be nice. So then here we have the teal version. Which is also very nice. All of these colors are really nice. Uh, but the deep sea blue and red, those are my personal favorites. Uh, let's see, we're on a cab. So now we got nice turquoise color. Uh, I really like this. Uh, oops, wrong thing. Um, I, was, I did try baking it as white, but I kept running into issues. So when I go back to fix the interior and the box there, uh, I'll be trying an AO bake for white again to try and get it to work correctly so now we'll go to cucumber green which I really like this color too this is a really nice looking color See, I'm just kind of going through the colors, showing you guys all the colors that I got. Um, I'm 
Oops, I did on the cab. So here we got a garden hose green. Which I find is also very, very nice. So then we have the true green, which kind of came out really light. But I really like the way that it did turn out. So... It's a nice green. I really enjoy this color. Um, then we have Strawberry Red, which I find is also very, very nice. I personally think that the red really just makes this thing pop. Um, it's just really, really nice. And then we can go back to the uh, original red texture. So it's a little bit brighter than uh, the strawberry red. Yeah, I really enjoy this truck, um, the looks of it. Uh, we got the Chevy emblem there that's all baked up into the correct color. Uh, we got some lights. I just baked them in as yellow. For now, um, I just kind of do it that way. Uh, we got all the chrome pieces here. You can see there's a lot of chrome on this truck. And it is all done with uh, Serious Mods' tutorial. So it's got a really, really, really nice chrome look to it. I love that. Uh, here we got the whole interior on this monster. Uh, and then we got the license plates. Uh, I'm actually going to be putting some, uh, you can see here, here's the AO bake. Uh, this is the rear plate on top and the front plate on the bottom. Uh, and I'm going to actually go to Google and find like a r actual license plate picture or like a template of just the plate and then add it to this. Um, I think that'll look really, really cool. So we got the tail lights, and then we got the whole undercarriage here, which you can see is all uh, chromed out. Uh, the only reason I did it all chrome is because then I didn't have to sit and separate out engine pieces to try and get it all textured. Can't do more than one material on that because that's going to have dirt added to it, so that will not work to do it that way. So we got all of our windows. So yeah, it's actually, it actually turned out really well for a SketchUp truck. I was amazed at how well it turned out. Um, it looks really, really great. Um, I need to go to this right here. Uh, if we go to Equipment, we have, no, Implement. Um, have this water trailer here that is from American Truck Sim that I'm going to try and convert over. Uh, I'm going to try and convert over some ATS mods. Um, just because there's a few trucks and some trailers, you know, like this one, for example, that I really find very nice looking that uh, I would enjoy having. So I'm going to mess around with those a little bit and see if I can get them over. Uh, here we have my... Duo lift DC 6050 cone bottom trailer. Um, this uh, I'm doing a series on uh, mods, as you guys know. Uh, I've said it a few times now. Um, I am doing that on this trailer here. Um. Oh, excuse me. Uh, doing it on this trailer, and so I've got video of me modeling this. Still got some more modeling work left to do, uh, and then I'll have the first episode up of that. But, yeah, it'll be out in due time. So those are the things that I'm working on at the moment. I uh, also have a folder here of a bunch of my FS13 mods of trucks and I got like a swather trailer uh, 
Got a couple, like a service pickup here, service truck, uh, seed trailer. I got a tender here. But, um, yeah, so gonna put these, run these through Blender and give them new textures. Um, you know, a little bit nicer textures, I guess you could say. You know, so like with these ones here, um, oops, wrong G. Uh, with these, I have a bunch of Rocket Man trucks, and his trucks are AT or no, 18 wheels of steel conversions. So these have to be run through Blender and with new textures. Um, or I can I can use the existing textures. I just have to um, run it through Blender so that it'll go into the 15 GE. Um, also, if we go here, I have a bunch of stuff. On my tractor house as well. A bunch of stuff that I want to make. And I'm still finding more. We have a 2010 Kilbros 1950 grain cart. We got some planters. We got a fast sprayer. A Hagee sprayer. A Heston Swather. We got some more planters. whole bunch of stuff. Uh, that I want to make. In the near future. Uh, some of it is also for my old iron fleet. Um, you know, here's one of the cone bottom trailers that I have as, that I'm using for the pictures, uh, to get some more detailed pictures. Uh, this Alice Chalmers 1500, that's going to be one of the pieces in my old iron pack, or old iron fleet that I want to do. Uh, this 5400 will be in there. Got a whole bunch of tenders. Uh, we got the Deutz Alice 1500. So that's basically the exact same as the AC 1500. Just in uh, the light Deutz color. Got a three-point dolly. We got uh, <clears throat> a swath roller, which you know it doesn't. It won't serve any purpose in game. It'll just kind of be for looks, but it'll be it'll be kind of cool, I guess. And here we got another cone bottom trailer for the pictures. Uh, we got this land pride here. We got the seed tender. All sorts of stuff that uh, I want to do in the near future. Uh, as you can see, currently got uh, video uploading. Uh, today is Thursday. Uh, it's 1.30 just about. This video is going to go up right away. Um, and then, so, now I'll get on to the update part. Um, so, I have, today's video is already uploaded. It's scheduled to come out at 4, so by the time you see this video, uh, that video should be just about up. Um, and then Saturday's video is currently uploading, that'll be out at noon central. Uh, so that'll be the last video that you guys have until um, August 2nd. Uh, that's when I'll have the next video. Uh, the reason for that is because um, this weekend... I'm going to the state fair and then um, coming back and then my parents are having a graduation party for me and then Monday I leave to go to Farmers Union Camp uh, and then I'll be gone all week and then I'll be going to my dad's when I come back from that. So I go there on Monday and we come back Friday morning and then uh, I'll be going to my dad's right away then. I'm not going to haul my computer with because I don't want it to get ruined or anything like that or stolen or anything like that. And it, plus it's just one more thing to worry about and to lug around. And so I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah, I won't have any video up until then. Uh, maybe, maybe I might have a farm update, uh, farm toy update that I'll put up next Saturday. Maybe that's what I'll do is uh, get all that stuff set up today and then uh, record and upload that video and then do it that way maybe that's what I'll do then you guys will have a video next Saturday um, and I know a lot of people have been wanting a farm update so I gotta get around to doing one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me uh, so yeah I, maybe I'll do that and then I'll just upload it as private and then go onto my computer and schedule it for next Saturday at noon. Uh, that's what I'll probably do. Uh, and then 
Hopefully the week after that, I hope to maybe get down to my papa's farm to get pictures of all the buildings for my map. Um, so that way I can move forward a little more with that. Uh, I have been working on it here and there. Uh, I'll add a field here, add a field there uh, every once in a while. Oh, and um, yeah, so I've just kind of been slowly working on it uh, because I don't want to get too much done because then it'll just kind of sit and I won't have anything to do on it. So I don't want to run into that issue. I do still have a lot that can be done, but I also have, it's going to take a long time to make all the buildings and stuff too. So I kind of, I have a lot of work to do left on the map. Uh, between adding all the buildings and then adding all the scripts and files that I want on this map, there's a, still a lot of work left. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna see, cause I know my papa, he doesn't get up here a lot. He's usually staying either at their cabin or he's hanging out at the farm cause his son is actually taking over, uh, farming my papa's half of the land, uh, because it's my papa and his brother, hence Will Brothers. Um, and his brother's farming his own half and then my papa gave his half of the land to his son and he is farming it so he's down there helping him out a lot so gonna see if he's gonna be up um that week um you know in two weeks that first week of august see if he's gonna be up here uh and then if he is see about going down there with him and then coming back and going down and taking a bunch of pictures and then also i'm going to be going to our farm uh, hopefully soon, hopefully maybe that same week. Uh, my dad has Thursday, Fridays off, so I want to see, uh, maybe go with him, because he usually leaves work, leaves, uh, after work on Wednesday night, and goes up there, and then comes back late Friday. So I'm going to see if, uh, see if I can head up there with him, and then, uh, I'll get some footage up there for you guys. It will be off my phone because my camera is junk. Um, I think I even have it sitting here. No, I don't. Um, but it's it's junk. I record like five seconds and it says the battery is exhausted. And that's even, I put brand new batteries in it and it does that. So uh, it'll be phone video, so it may not be the best quality, but what can you do, I guess? I don't have the money to afford a GoPro right now. Uh, I also, I'm saving for a car first because... A car would be a whole lot more useful than a GoPro at this point in time. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully going to be some good videos coming out for you guys soon. Uh, if you watched my stream yesterday, we got some more planting done. Uh, so, uh, I'll try and get it... Get as much as I can done of that before um, I leave. And so that way it's not planting wheat again in next week uh, or in the next week of videos I guess I should say so a little update for you guys a little show off of a mod uh, gonna end this video get it edited get it uploading and I'm gonna go ahead and start scripting that truck uh, after I finish fixing a couple of the things um, I'm gonna start scripting that truck and get it in getting it in game uh, as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you're already subscribed, make sure that you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time, Saturdays at noon Central, uh, and we'll be getting back into streaming more. I did a stream last night and had a lot of people in there, and a lot of people were like, yay, finally. And I know, I've been slacking on the live streams. I know, I know, I know. Um, I'll get back into them soon, I promise. Uh, check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias. Uh, there's some cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at down there. Also, my PC specs are in there, so be sure to check that out if you are wondering what kind of a PC I have. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, be sure to check back for more, and I'll see you guys.